Hello again. Welcome back. It's Mr. Lone. I am so excited to be back with you for another year of read alouds. This has just been the last few years doing read alouds with you and we're over 400 of these things and on my YouTube page and just sharing books with the students at McGinn and SPF and whoever else picks them up off of the YouTube channel. Um, it just makes my day. We will not miss one of these, hopefully. Um, through the entire school year. We'll have different titles uh, every day, different uh, books, different adventures that we can go on. And just thank you for sharing your time with me uh, for these little short read alouds. Now, today's was not hard to pick. First day of school, a first day of school type of book. So I'm going to read you by Julie Danneberg, a very popular title for the first day of school called First Day Jitters. And away we go. Sarah, dear, time to get out of bed, Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss the first day at your new school, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah, and she pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey, said Mr. Hartwell, as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I don't like my new school, Sarah said. She tunneled down to the end of the bed. How can you not like your new school, sweetheart? Mr. Hartwell said. You've never been there before. Don't worry. You liked your other school, and you'll like this one. Besides, just think of all the new friends you're going to meet. That's just it. I don't know anybody. And it will be hard. And I just, I just don't like it. That's all. What will everyone think if you aren't there? We told them you were coming, Mr. Hartwell said. They'll think that I'm lucky. And they'll wish that they were at home, in bed, just like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. Sarah Jane Hartwell. I'm not playing this silly game one second longer. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. Sarah tumbled out of bed. She stumbled into the bathroom. She fumbled into her clothes. My head hurts, she moaned as she trudged into the kitchen. Mr. Hartwell handed Sarah a piece of toast and her lunchbox. They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. They drove down the street. She couldn't breathe. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah weakly. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal, Mrs. Burton. Sarah slumped down in her seat. Oh, Sarah, Mrs. Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are. Come on, I'll show you where to go. She led Sarah into the building and walked quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry, everyone is nervous on the first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah rushed to keep up. When they got to the classroom, classroom most of the children were already in their seats. The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. <clears> throat. Class, class, attention please, said Mrs. Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room. Class, I would like you to meet your new teacher, Mrs. Sarah Jane Hartwell. So boys and girls, I hope you like that little twist at the end. It wasn't a new student. The jitters or the nervousness was the teacher. And guess what? As you begin your new school year, whether you are new to the school, whether you're new to school at all, like our kindergartners, or whether, like me, I've been here 10 years now, there's always a little bit of nervousness that goes on with starting a new year, um, getting into the flow of things. But you know what? 
We have tons of support around. The teachers help the teachers. The students help the students. The teachers help the students. And the students help the teachers. This place is a huge family. We will be there for one another. We are going to have an amazing year. I can't wait to bring you more stories as the year goes on. And we're going to be back tomorrow with Read Aloud number two for 22-23. You guys have an awesome night, and I'll see you soon.